Hi everyone, today we're gonna to be taking a look at how you can ditch your Adobe Creative Cloud subscription that you're basically never going to stop paying for, and if you do, you lose access to all the applications, and instead swap that out in favor of a one-time purchase of the older, but still plenty powerful Adobe Creative Suite CS6, and of course, how to do so in a legally and safely online manner. Now I do want to mention that there is no 100% foolproof way of doing this. There are always dishonest people out there, but the steps I'm going to outline worked wonderfully for me and there's really no reason they shouldn't work just as well for you. Now when it comes to online purchasing options, eBay tends to be the easiest to track down software on, but it also can be the little bit more shady and the trickiest to navigate and find a legit seller. I did want to mention if you only need Photoshop or just need After Effects or just Illustrator or just a one-off program, there's no need to buy the entire Creative Suite selection and they can be found for cheap and oftentimes with the original box and packaging and CDs with them, which makes a little bit uh, easier case for proof of purchase. Now, when it comes to buying a serial number or an activation key online, however, you need to be extra careful and pay attention to a few things. So first there was the full retail licenses, which is what we're basically going to focus on here. But there was also volume licenses, as in bulk licenses, so a studio or a school or whatever would buy a bunch of licenses at a discount. The problem is a lot of people go online and sell these volume licenses, and one, they can be deactivated by the administrator or whoever has access to that at any time, and also once they hit that ceiling of how many times they can be activated, well, you're kind of out of luck. The last type of license that was sold was educational licenses, which were meant for, of course, students or faculty only, and only for learning purposes only, not for making money. So basically, when you're buying a license, the only one of these I've mentioned that's really legal to do for-profit work is the full retail one. And all the others, you run the risk of potential lawsuits or someone deactivating your license at any time. Now, as far as finding a legitimate eBay seller, you want to look really closely at their selling rating and history. If you see a license being sold for super cheap and it's among the very first few things a seller is selling, chances are they're just trying to test the waters, make a quick buck and sell you pirated or non-legit software. Beyond that, actually looks can be deceiving even if a seller does have good feedback and some things to look for are oftentimes shady sellers will kind of fluff up their rating online by having fake accounts go on and leave them positive feedback. And oftentimes, if you look at the feedback specifically, you see that the same user IDs left all that feedback. And so with the seller I purchased from, it did state right in the description that the license was full retail, which is great. And we even went back and forth via messages a few times on eBay on where the license is originated from. And a good indicator in this case, and hopefully in your case, that the seller is legit, is they will often go the extra mile to put your mind at ease about the purchase. So for instance, this user actually went online with Adobe and did an online chat, confirmed with them that the serial number was indeed full retail, and then forwarded me that conversation transcript, which of course he blurred out the serial number, but it left me with a much better sense of what I was getting. From there, I also contacted Adobe with the transcript number, and they were able to pull up and say, yes, this person just had a conversation with us, and yes, this serial number is full retail. Now, last but not least, since they're the people you'll be dealing with if things do go badly, I did contact eBay support and ran by the whole transaction by them. They looked at the seller's feedback and history and were able to vouch for that, that nothing shady was in there. They also said that if things did go down a bad path, they have my information, they have that I contact them ahead of time, and they said having that on reference would be very, very helpful. So I think it's safe to say that with me making this video, I had a good experience in purchasing this online. And my hope is that these tips and experiences of my own will help you have one as well. Really, the Creative Cloud, there's so many things to like about it, but at the end of the day, if you can cut out that cost and still get everything done you need to, why not save that money? So with that, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you on the next Johnny How To.